on TuneIn, iHeart, and on Odyssey. Now, from the Signature Bank Studios, this is Chicago's Morning Answer with Dan Proft and Amy Jacobson. Only the biggest stories, only the biggest guests, and only the biggest opinions. This is AM560, The Answer. Top of the morning, Dan and Amy. Uh, all right, um, talking really golf and high schools with Raj Shah and Rick Borick, but we'll try to get into some uh, issues of finance too. So, um, oh, by the way, I guess I should mention uh, their SC Wealth Advisors, Raj Shah, Rick Borick, hosts of Unleash Your Wealth, which airs Saturdays on these airwaves, AM 560, 7 a.m. and 2 p.m. They've been on the air for 10 years, so they've been providing reliable financial advice and counsel for a decade on our airwaves. Yeah, so um, we're celebrating a, a huge milestone, 10 years. Congratulations. We've been, we haven't even been on the air together for 10 years. Yeah, we have. No. No? Is this, uh, when's, our, when's our anniversary, Dan, I think, and what am I getting? I think I think this this is our 10th year, so we oh. have not completed 10 Ew. years. Okay, show-offs. I think that's... No, 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 wait. Oh, Nine, see, now he's doing the math. Yeah, it won't be until uh, like 2025, I think, that will be our officially completed 10th year. We're actually in our ninth year. Oh. Just seems like longer. (laughs) Uh, Anyway, (laughs) uh, all right, so um, Raj and Rick, so here's what, I I, want to talk about golf and high school, too, but but let's start with a wealth question so we don't lose our listeners. Um, The, it seems to me you've got like two camps right now when it comes to the markets. You've got the camp that says the crash is coming because just all the fundamentals suggest that the market uh, right now is um, inexplicable based on where the fundamentals are, the economy. And then you've got people say, well, you've got the government backstop. So um, whether it's bailing out banks or printing funny money or distributing checks, um, you're, you've got the government backstop. So uh, Jay Powell is going to keep propping up the market. And so you should be in the market uh, because you rely on the government to be that backstop, or you shouldn't be because you rely on fundamentals. So which is it, or is it a combination of the two? Or is it a bit about distributing where you invest? Well, I mean, the biggest thing, um, Dan, is that right now the inflation is hot. So they've been Jay Powell's been raising the interest rates. Right. And so when they're raising the interest rates, it actually causes a lot of people to flee from the stock market and so ultimately, the problem is we've talked about this on Unleash Your Wealth literally every Saturday at 7 a.m. and 2 p.m. talking about people are continuously trying to time the market, Rick. And I mean, yeah. that is a cardinal sin 101. Should I get in? Should I get out? What's the best time? Well, we know very well last year, the S&P 500, the market was down roughly 18 to 20 percent, including dividends. And now all of a sudden we had a run back this year. All, all of a sudden, it just bounced back significantly, and I could guarantee— In spite of the rate hikes, this is what it, perplexes yeah. people. Well, then and, why and, is it And happening? no one predicted that. No one knew that the market is going to come back, and everyone continuously tries to play this prediction game. But, Rick, we know it's not timing the market. It's time in the yeah, market. It, it's always time in the market, and, and in reality, market timing never works because you got to do two things right. you you got to know when to sell, and you got to sell before it goes down, and then you got to get in when there's blood in the streets. It's really hard for most people to do. You go, it's counterintuitive to human nature. So in reality, you have to find ways to participate in the market. And like you were saying, Dan, with the funny money, yeah, the, that does prop up the market, but it comes at a cost. Inflation hurts everyone, right? So what happens is that we specialize in a lot of protection strategies where people can participate on the market upside, but they can also have a level of protection in the portfolio. Right, so then there's the diversification yes. issue, which, of course, people, uh, I think certainly our listeners are sophisticated enough to understand. Um, the, um, but it, it, you're right, too. I mean, it's sort of like I was talking to my friend about uh, real estate in Naples, trying to get him to buy a house down in Naples. And he's like, I, the prices are so high, I'm waiting for them to come off a little bit. Well, mm. they're, they're not going to come off. That's like market time. Yeah, yeah. it's yep. sort, of, sort yep. of the same thing. It's like, you know, what? what I'm just waiting for one more crash before I get in. Well, you may miss a 20% rally like we've seen this year. That's that that's sort of the point. So then so then how do you guys look? I mean, you know, I guess it's a, it mainly depends on where you are too in terms of your earning life and right. I mean, uh, you you probably have a different investment strategy for somebody who's 25 as opposed to 55. Yeah, for sure. In other words, a 25-year-old can take that ride up and down because they're not going to need the money for 40 years or 
at the government keeps us working maybe 45 years, yeah, right. right? So you're 70. But if, Raj, if you're closer to 55, 60, 65, you need to take a different approach. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's accepting market volatility at a younger age. It's okay because the money is not earmarked to take that money and take distributions for retirement until a later time in life. However, if you're approaching retirement, the game changes. The law of averages go out of the door because ultimately you're playing with a sequence of returns where, which means that, hey, you know what? Market went down, but I'm not contributing to my 401k any longer. I have to start taking money out. So in the end, you got to look to places where I can get that level of protection. And yeah, I know, Dan, you've been talked about and mentioned about having diversification, which is, you know, the free ride to investing, but they're with a rising interest rate environment, there's different ways now to protect your money. And obviously there's attractive yields out there with one year treasuries above 5%. You can look to structured notes where structured notes where you can get short term 12 to 24 months and get a principal protection and still participate in the stock market. And then, you know, there's other ways that you can create a floor for your, your investment portfolio. Yeah. In other words, you can literally get guarantees. So a lot of people have the FOMO this year. They got the fear of missing out because the market's already ran back 15 or 20 percent. And now they say, well, if I get in now, it's going to go back down because I'm the wrong way Corrigan of life. It always goes against me. There's some investors that have that mindset. So you need to invest in con with confidence. And a way to do that is to structure large parts of your portfolio if you're at retirement ages where you do not take downside market risk. That's a huge benefit to a retiree. So a young man like me can have all his money tied up in Ethereum. Whereas an old lady like uh, Amy uh, should be getting that 5.25% in the money well, market. Well, we might have to help you with the Ethereum. I think we, we don't know to take that much risk. You know? So what, yeah. what, is, what does our economy look like if President Biden is reelected? Because well, I know a lot of people are hoping, obviously, that that doesn't happen for financial reasons. Well, we know right now with, you know, I, when you, you, know, you don't want to go too much into the politics, but we know when it comes to – uh, you know, from a Democratic side, there's a lot more regulation. Historically, when there's regulation, business ultimately kind of slows down, right? So, yeah. you know, that, that's where, you know, ultimately it's, again, it's kind of timing out. We see this all the time. Like, well, if, you know, if Trump gets in office, I'm going to see and wait to invest my money. And if Biden gets in, I'm going to I'm going to wait and see. Well, again, it goes back to market timing. And, you know, you want to invest and have a long-term vision and ultimately not trying to time it out and sit and keep your money in the mattress because we know cost of living, everyone's seeing right now at the grocery store, they're seeing it at the gas pump, just getting a loaf of bread, a gallon of milk, and, you know, and why are those rates high right now, those 5% yields? is because inflation is still running hot, Rick. Well, yeah, and I think if, if there is a second term for, for uh, Mr. Biden, literally it's going to mean that that's the time when he's no longer going to have to run for re-election that he goes for large tax increases. We got $33 trillion of debt, and when are you going to do that and pass those big tax rate hikes is when you no longer have to run for a re-election. So um, what are alternatives to cash or, or those uh – CDs uh, generating 5%. Well, right like now. Raj said. Like safe alternative if you're, you know, sort of mid or, or later in your working career. Yeah, well, like, like when you look at a structured note, you can get literally a principal protected structured note where your principal is guaranteed at the end of 12 or 15 or 24 months. And you'll still participate to a certain extent on the upside in the equity market up to, say, 12 or 13% which is two and a half times the potential upside of a one-year CD or a one-year treasury right now. And so, uh, I mean, right now when people are coming to you, like, what is the distribution? I, I want to do some things that uh, have more risk. I want to invest a little bit money in crypto or a little bit money in this private equity concern my friend's running. But, uh, you know, I also want to protect the, uh, you know, the, the, the sub substance of my portfolio. We work as a fiduciary advisor. We're a registered investment advisor. So which really gives us the true independence and we don't have any particular allegiance to any particular firm so we can actually genuinely work for the client and do what's in their best interest. But we have clients that come and say, well, I want to have a little crypto and I want to have this. And we say, you know what, if you want to carve that part out for your portfolio, for your alternative investments, that's fine. We don't take the liability on that part of it. What we do is we craft and create a portfolio that's a blended strategy. There is no all or none where you have to say, 
I need to take a lot of risk here and I need to protect all of my money here. It's creating a blended strategy and asking them, if you have a million dollars, how much of this money do you want to protect that you could generate that contractual guaranteed income to create that floor for the rest of your life in retirement? And the other part of the portfolio is having those equity returns because let's face it, you need to be invested in equities to outpace inflation because what if inflation's running out hot for the next 10 years? You know, we run those types of scenarios where if you retire in a high inflationary market, what if you retire in a flat stock market? You know, we, we, Rick, we talk about so that, mod- the loss that the we lost mod- We model all the what ifs. Yeah. Yeah, what yeah, if yeah. Social Security gets cut by 20% in 2033? Right. Yeah, sure. And then we, we look at that and we, we give a percentage value and we say, well, here's your probability of success. And when we can get that number up above 75, 80, 90%, we feel good about it. But if you're sitting down here at 30, 35, 40% probability of succeeding, that means it's a coin flip whether you're going to run out of money, and we think that's unacceptable. Yeah, well, no, no, that's yeah. that, that, that like proper risk assessment. Yes. Yeah, right. That's All right, true. so you two have been together 10 years. Oh. How, did you, how did you meet? Well, we've <laughs> actually began, been together for, well, we're a combined experience of 53 years. Wow. I've been in the business for 22 years. In fact, I got into the business um, just, I always remember because 9-11, I got into the business a month after, right, right? I was already in the business for a month. And Rick, you've been in the business for more uh, than 30 thir- 34 years. 34 years, yeah. 34 years. So we we've been together working for together for 20, 20 years. Okay. And, and we started uh, the, the firm back in, in basically after mm. 2015, and you were 2013. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've been doing this for a long time. We worked at the Fortune 500, and, you know, then we spun off and knowing that, you know, it, it, that's where we generated a lot of experience. But we know now going forward that we need to have our own firm, independent registered advisor, fiduciary. So, you know, ultimately that's what's what cl- clients are looking for, that you have the full plethora of options so that you can genuinely create a portfolio and say, and say hey, I got this great, you know, the, 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 the best flavor of the month. It, that, that's not how it works. You have to structure a portfolio so you can grab all the options everywhere and really cr- construct and blend out a portfolio that way. Raj went to Wheaton Central. Um, where I would have gone if I was forced to go to a government school. Yeah. Um, thankfully, I wasn't. Uh, but um, <laughs> but right, yeah. so Wheaton guy, Wheaton Central, 14 handicap. And people want to know these <laughs> things about, they, their, they know about their advisors. <laughs> they need to know. You need yeah. full disclosure here. Well, what so about Rick? On, 14 index. Well, I index. graduated before time began. No, I graduated in Wheaton Warrenville. And, uh, oh. Yeah, yeah, so I was yeah. a Wheaton fellow. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, uh, but a lot Rick's, of DuPage County going on yeah. in here. Yeah. I, get yes. the, I get the but, hives. But Rick's wife yeah. won't let him play golf. Not any longer, no. <gasps> yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. It's our day. Sunday Dan- became our day. You know? oh. Sunday's <laughs> your day, but where's she on your well, day? It, it, we, we don't golf for sure together. But no, it's, as long as I'm around the house, it's fine. You know? Oh, it's just so you keep an eye on you. <laughs> I just say why Dan Proft is single. Yeah. Uh, all right, so we're talking to Raj Shah, Rick Boric, SC Wealth Advisors. They provide a wide suite of financial services, wealth management, financial planning, retirement planning, Social Security planning, Roth IRA conversion, 401K, 457B, 403B rollovers, estate planning, fixed index annuities, active portfolio management, as they were describing. And you can listen to them on our airwave Saturdays at 7 a.m. and 2 p.m., 7 a.m. and 2 p.m. Saturdays. Ten years they've been on the air. Unleash Your Wealth is the show. Raj Shaw, Rick Bork, thanks for joining us. Appreciate Thank it. you. Yeah, and Thank you can you also go to scwealthadvisors.com. You can, there's a live chat feature, and obviously you can always give us a call on our 24-hour number at 312-345-5494. There's only one radio show in Chicago talking about today's biggest stories and telling you what they really mean. That show is this one. Chicago's Morning Answer on AM560, The Answer. Rick here from Forever 